Hey everybody, it's Dan Latto speaking. So in this video I want to talk to you about why you need to start responding to leads in a timely manner. So look, if you want to grow your wealth, your income, and increase the amount of time off, then these are the shortcuts that can help. Welcome to the Wealth Creation Podcast. Hey everybody, it's Dan. Hope you're well today. So let's talk about this. We run a lead generation company, it's part of what we do. And one of the most frustrating things for us as a lead generation company is to generate leads that are then not followed up on. And sometimes the client says, well, you know, if the leads were that excited, they would call us. And it's like, come on, dude. This is your business. This is not our business. This is, you know, the lead doesn't care if they use you or somebody else, right? You've got to get on that lead. And I can't even believe that we have to have this conversation. <laughs> but when you get a phone number, phone it. When you get a lead, phone it up. You've got to chase it up. So um, this is what I call the dead zone. And um, if you ever remember a film with Christopher Walken called The Dead Zone, um, I kind of changed, changed it up a little bit. The dead zone for me is when you get a lead and the longer you leave it, the deader it gets. The more into the dead zone the lead will get. And so we've done this. When we ran the lettings agency, we had 1,500 phone calls every single month. And I'd go into the office and the lead would have phoned on Thursday and today was Monday. And I'm like, how did that lead go? Oh, I've not phoned them yet. What? What the hell do you mean you've not phoned them yet? My job back then, I owned the business, but my job was to generate the leads. The staff's team was to qualify them, well, phone them, qualify them, book viewings, rent, you know, rent flats out for our landlords. And we'd end up with a situation where people weren't getting a call back. And what used to really annoy me even more was when a person called two or three or four times because they'd not had a call back. And it annoyed me because that used to cost me 50 pence <laughs> every phone call. That's how much of a tight northern I, I used to be and still am. I'm quite proud of that. So you've got to be phoning these clients back, like clients, potential clients, leads, prospects, whatever language, whatever name you actually want to call them. If you're not calling them back, your competitor is. If you're not building a relationship, your competitor is. If you're not building rapport of some kind, your competitor is. So you've got to start building something with potential leads. And the first way of doing that, if you've got a phone number, which is what we call a lead, is to get on the phone and phone it up. And if you haven't got the phone number and you've only got an email address, get on the email and email them. If you haven't got an email address and you've only got a home correspondence address, get on a letter and send them a letter. You've got to be on it, like on it straight away. The best time for you to return that call is as soon as they filled in that form. Even if you get um, an app like ifthisthenthat.com will probably do this, I-F-T-T, -T, if this then that ifttt.com will do it um, and you can do it so that it pings your phone ping new lead it can send you a text message ping and then you can phone that lead up almost immediately now this is why you want to be doing it in such a timely manner because you know let's just say let's use a lettings agency analogy let's say i'm looking for an apartment in leeds two bed penthouse city center uh with parking I fill in a form on right move, it goes over to the lettings agency. Guess what I'm thinking of right at that point? I'm thinking about renting a two bed penthouse with a car park in Leeds City Centre and switched on, right? Half an hour after I've done that, what do you think I'm doing? I'm watching Netflix, I'm driving home, I'm back at work, I'm having an argument with someone. I am totally not, not that I have a lot of arguments, I am totally not thinking about renting a two bed property in Leeds City Centre I'm just not, I am out of the zone right, and the dead zone starts now to take uh, effect because the longer it takes for me to get a phone call back let's say I get a phone call the following day ah, is that Dan, yeah uh, you filled in a form, did I? yeah, you were looking for a flat to rent in Leeds was I? I don't remember that, are you sure it's me? because I'm so far removed from that point in time where in my head I'm thinking, I want this thing, whatever that thing happens to be. And it's the same for your customers. If it takes you a week to get back to people, if it takes you a couple of days to get back to people, if it takes you an hour to get back to people, it's going to take them 
far too long to remember who on earth you are that we even filled in a form. So the longer you leave it, the deader it's going to get. And that, my friends, right there is the dead zone when it comes to leads. You've got to get on it. You've got to hit the phone. You've got to get them in. Uh, you know, if someone drops a message into my uh, marketing agency and I phone them back straight away, hey, Bob, you just dropped an email saying that you, you need uh, a phone call. Should we book that phone call in? Like, even though I'm on the phone, I'll still book that phone call in. They don't have to do it there and then. I will have a phone call to book a phone call. That's that's wonderful. And then, if we go, okay, let's book in Friday at 2 o'clock and uh, allocate 45 minutes, everybody knows Friday at 2 o'clock you're going to have a 45-minute phone call. They've allocated the time. Before they get to that phone call, they are switched on. They are thinking about whatever problem was that they wanted to solve. They're already thinking about it and lining up to that phone call for the next few days they're thinking about it as well. There's no dead zone going on there because I've already made the phone call. I've already set an expectation that we're going to speak on Friday for 45 minutes. And then when we speak on Friday for 45 minutes, I've met that expectation. Not only about setting an expectation, but it's about meeting an expectation. And then from a client's point of view, they know they're having that phone call. They then have that phone call. They get a warm, fuzzy feeling because on the dot at two o'clock, whatever time I said, they get that phone call. That's how you should be doing it. That's how you follow up leads. Now, I find it very peculiar. I'll be honest, that I even have to explain any of this. I, I just, it's like, it's obvious what you should be doing. <laughs> you know, I've got a lead come through. Have you found it? Nah, nah, I'll, I'll do it next week. I, I, can't, I can't even believe that I have to have that conversation. But it's 2021. I, no conversations about out of bounds in 2021. So that's the conversation just had. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Uh, drop your message in the box below. Other than that, have yourselves a wicked day. And we'll speak to you on the next video. My name's Dan Latto. Take care. Hey, it's Dan here. Thank you for listening. Really appreciate each and every one of you. Please click like or subscribe to the entire podcast.